Hi, my name is Tra. I'm from Vietnam. I'm fifth grade in the Solis. And for the Solis Science Fair, I did a research on the antifungal ability of onion, garlic, and lime. Why did I choose onion, garlic, and lime? I heard that garlic can fight germs, and I like to eat them with vegetables. Onions have substance that tears my eyes when I cut them. And I even heard that lime peel may help our body kill germs. My question, which can inhibit fungi best? Lime, onion, or garlic? Do you know fungi? Fungi are various types of organisms that get their food from decaying materials or other living things. Fungi can spoil food and cause diseases in humans, plant, animals, and plants. Here is an image showing fungi growing on a slice of bread. My hypothesis, onion inhibits fungi better than lime and garlic. To test my hypothesis, I did an experiment. Here are the materials needed for the experiment. Recycled water bottle, spoon, bowl, magnifying loop, camera, steamed rice, recording sheet, and aspergillus oryzae, the kind of fungi I used in this experiment. I bought this fungi in the Company of Applied Microbiology, Vietnam National University of Science. Experiment. Procedures. Prepare a cup of steamed rice. Add garlic or onion or lime peel. Grind it and mix with water. Add a clump of pure fungi spores. Observe and collect data every day. Research design. This is how I designed my research. I had control and experimental group. In control, I put steamed rice and fungi spores only. In experimental group, I either put garlic in this category, onion in this category, or lime in this category. The reason I have control was because I can compare the data collected from control with those from experimental group to draw conclusions and to test my hypothesis. Data collection and analysis. This is how I collected my data and analyzed them. Here are the samples. Garlic one, two, three, Onion 1, 2, 3, Lime 1, 2, 3, and Control. I took note of how each sample looked like from the starting day to the day I ended the experiment. Then I analyzed my data to find out the inhibition of fungal growth here for each observation time. Results. Result one. On day five, there was no fungi observed on garlic. There were some on onion. And a uh, fungi fully covered lime and control. So garlic was the best inhibitor, followed by onion. Lime peel did not have any garlic I mean antifungal ability. However, on day 9, onion lost its antifungal ability. Both lime and onion became an additional source of nutrients for fungi to grow. And garlic was still the best inhibitor. Here's the image showing the bottom of the cup or bottom observation. You can see in lime and onion, the f f yeah, so the rice, the steamed rice has been decayed by fungi. And in garlic, the steamed rice was still very clean. Then 
I wanted to know how garlic concentration affected fungal growth. So I did another experiment. For this experiment, I had five cups with the same amount of steamed rice mixed with different garlic concentrations. This is, I mean, this, this cup here is controlled, so it was not added with any garlic. These cups were added each with one, two, three, and four spoons of garlic. The duration of this experimental observation is 18 days. All the samples were replicated twice. Here is the result of my experiment. These are the days when fungi appear. Just after one day of cultivation, fungi appeared on steamed rice without garlic. And in steamed rice, on steamed rice, mixed with one, two, and three spoons of garlic, the fungi appeared on day two, three, four, and seven, respectively. And on the, <coughs> the, <coughs> excuse me, the four, four spoons of garlic, the fungi didn't appear until day 18. My conclusion is, the higher the garlic concentration, the better the antifungal ability. Here is an illustration of how garlic concentration affected fungal growth observed on day 12. Here is control. The fungi in control is, was fully covered. Similarly, in one spoon of garlic, the fungi also fully covered. However, in two spoons of garlic, there were two colonies of fungi, and in three spoons of garlic, there was one colony. While in four spoons of garlic, there were there was no fungi at all. Okay, now let's see t the today's observation. These two cups are controlled. These two cups are added with one spoon of garlic. These are added with two, and these are added with three spoons of garlic. All of these cups were covered with fungi, except for this three spoons of garlic, which you can see there is one colony of fungi. And in two of these cups mixed with four spoons of garlic, you can see here the steamed rice was still very clean. Okay, the conclusion. My experiments showed that garlic inhibited fungi best, followed by onion. Lime peel is not able to be antifungal in this experiment. Rather, it facilitated the fungal growth on steamed rice. Onion was able to inhibit fungi at first, but over time, its antifungal ability disappeared and then like lime, Onion later became an additional source of nutrient for the fungi. I also learned that the antifungal ability of garlic was greater at higher concentration. And, in my opinion, garlic may be used in food preservation technology and medicine. Thank you for listening and I hope my research is helpful to you.